On April 4th, the Russians made another mechanized attack, and we got some video of it here. But to look at the map first, it happened by Chasiv Yar. And ISW is reporting April 4th, the Russians conducted a company size mechanized attack. And they were coming up this road towards Chasiv Yar. Now, Chasiv Yar is outside of Bakhmut, right? So Bakhmut is just off the screen to the right. And they're trying to get down this road into the built-up areas because in the built-up areas, the Russian tactics of using dismounted infantry are more effective. And as you're going to see, they have real trouble getting through open terrain. So let's go and see the videotape that was posted on Telegram. Okay, here we have the video from Telegram. And you see the Russian mechanized unit, about company strength, coming down the road. And now I have edited out or blurred all the violence here, uh, but what we can see, you can pretty much see what happened. So if I put this in motion, we have the Russians come down the road and boom, first vehicle looks like it hits a mine, drives off the road. General Mayhem. And we see moving back, right? And in fact, there's a lot of dismounted people running up the road and leaving behind a number of vehicles. So what do we make of all this? Well, you know, one, they're doing mechanized attacks. This is a little different than what the Russians have been doing before in terms of having dismounted attacks, but those really only work in urban terrain, right? And that's why you've seen Russia doing fairly well in more urban areas. Uh, and here they're forced to go across a valley. I would not want to go through that valley. That valley may get a name if they, a bad, you know, a bad one if they keep having to uh, push on Chasiv Yar. The skill set though is still elusive, right? And so, you know, our question is: Are the Russians trying to level up? Are they trying to get away from the dismounted into the mechanized? Keep in mind, mechanized attacks are the attacks that gain ground, and if you're going to take, if you're going to have an offensive that is going to do something other than creep forward 100 meters, 200 meters at a time, uh, you need to, to get better at mechanized attacks. And looking at this attack, there isn't a high level of skill here, nor equipment, right? You know, one thing, it might be a minor point, but I keep looking at it, like, where's the smoke, right? I mean, you guys just got hit. I mean, don't your vehicles have smoke launchers? I mean, it's just a saying in the army, pop smoke, right? And um, at some point somewhere in here, somebody should have given these guys some concealment. Now, uh, it's hard to say from the video, right? That I edited out an artillery strike uh, for community guideline standards. There's uh, aircraft around. And so it's hard to, to know the exact sequence because the video is edited. But we just don't see a lot of action we see these guys walking out and leaving their equipment. And so the skill set is still pretty, you know, undeveloped, right? And so uh, as we watch this going forward, we are going to watch, one, where are these attacks coming? Uh, ISW, they're seeing the Russians concentrating in uh, Abdivka here in Chasiv Yar, up in Lehman. They didn't mention Kupiansk, which is a natural launching off point for any assault on Kharkiv. But, you know, we want to keep an eye on where these things are happening. Also, uh, we want to keep an eye on these tactics. Are they going to get better at these mechanized, uh, these mechanized attacks? Or, you know, are there, there, part, there are supply problems and they're, you know, they're using older tanks that are not and older vehicles that are not as good, you know, they're not going to go at night as, and they're not going to, maybe they don't have smoke launchers. Maybe they don't, or they haven't got the supply chain or in there to do it. So these are all questions that we want to, uh, you know, answer and keep an eye on the answer changing as Russian tactics and expertise evolve.